Here are some guidelines for anesthesia for open globe injuries of the eye. People getting anesthesia often have coughing and bucking during induction or emergence. You want to try to avoid coughing and bucking because it can increase intraocular pressure. So you can avoid it by running deeper anesthesia. For laryngoscopy, which tends to be very stimulating, you can do a combination of propofol, lidocaine, and fentanyl. And for emergence, you want to ensure that it's as smooth as possible. This could mean doing a deep extubation or possibly switching to an LMA before ending the anesthesia. You want to avoid succinylcholine. It's been shown to, shown to increase intraocular pressure. Propofol, as an induction agent, tends to be better than etomidate or ketamine. Etomidate can cause myoclonus, which can lead to retinal detachment, and ketamine can cause nystagmus. You also are okay using non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers and volatile anesthetics. You want to avoid nitrous oxide. This can cause an enlargement of intraocular bubbles, which increases intraocular pressure. You also want to be cautious with retrobulbar blocks. This involves putting local anesthetic behind the eye, and you get, if you do that too much, you can also increase your intraocular pressure.